In this video, we will show you the basics of using NextGen to file locate requests. Upon logging into iSight, the first screen you see should be the NextGen interface. If not, click the NextGen button in the upper left corner of the screen. To begin a session with NextGen, click the New Ticket button. With NextGen, you start the locate process by locating and identifying your worksite on the map. Enter an address or name of a building in the Starting Address Location field. This field is strictly used to find and zoom in to a specific location and will not populate information on the ticket. Once you have found the correct location, you can start mapping out your worksite. You will do this by creating one or more shapes on the map that represent your excavation area. These shapes are called excavation entities. You have several options available to help ensure you can precisely and accurately cover your worksite. Let's take a look at them now. The Create Circle tool allows for the placement of one or more circular excavation entities. Click the Create Circle button and enter a radius when prompted. This will determine the circle's size. Then choose an option from the drop-down list. If none of the provided options fit your type of excavation, choose Custom Response. The Custom Response option allows you to add your own entry for this drop-down menu. If you would like this option to appear in future sessions, be sure to tick the Save for Future Tickets checkbox. Click the Add to Dropdown button to continue. Then enter details describing the subject you selected in the drop-down menu. When you are ready, click OK. With the Create Circle tool active, click on the map where you would like to place your circle. You can continue clicking to place more circles on the map. Each time you place a circle, the pop-up menu will appear to ensure the information is correct. To exit Create Circle mode, click End Circle. The Create Route tool is used for creating long and narrow excavation entities. Similar to Create Circle, selecting the Create Route tool will prompt you to enter a width, select an option from the drop-down menu, including Custom Response, and include details describing the subject you selected in the drop-down menu. Start creating your route by clicking on the map where you would like to begin. Continue clicking until you have reached the end of your route. Then click End Route. The next tool is Select Parcel. The Select Parcel tool allows you to use parcel data to map out the work area. The Select Parcel tool will be visible if the area you are viewing contains parcel data. With Select Parcel mode on, click on the property where the work will take place. Choose from the options in the pop-up menu to contain the entire excavation area. If you need to add additional marking instructions, choose the Custom Mark option and enter marking instructions in the corresponding field. If you are working in the street or across the street from the address, you must choose the Dig Street Curb to Curb or Dig Street and Blank Feet Back from Each Curb option. Choosing either of those options will allow the polygon containing the parcel to expand to include those areas. To exit Select Parcel Mode, click End Parcel. Similar to Select Parcel, Select Feature allows you to create excavation entities based on available map features, such as roads or highways. After entering a width, click on the center line of the road at the starting point of your excavation area. Then click on the center line of the road at the ending point of your worksite. This will convert the selected feature to an excavation entity with the width you had previously designated. Please note that, when using the Select Feature tool, all work must be limited to a single street. If the work turns down another road, create a new Select Feature Excavation Entity. The Create Polygon tool allows you to freehand draw an excavation entity, and should only be used in situations where no other excavation entity will properly cover the dig site. In Create Polygon mode, click on the map where you would like to begin. Continue setting points until you have encompassed the entire work area. To close out the polygon, click on the same point where you began. Next, 
you will need to complete the Polygon Information Form. If you have an address, enter the numerical portion of the address in the Address field, and enter the street name in the Street field. Enter the name of the nearest intersecting street in the Cross Street field. Next, enter the marking instructions and any other useful information in the Marking Instructions field. Finally, enter the driving directions into the driving directions field. If you provided an address, driving directions are not required. Once the polygon information form is completely filled out, click OK. You can modify any of the excavation entities you have created in your current session by clicking the Edit Locates button. With Edit Mode active, click on the entity you would like to modify. Edit Mode allows you to modify all aspects of your excavation entities. While in Edit Mode, you can delete any excavation entity by right-clicking on it. When you have finished mapping and your entire excavation area has been encompassed, click Next.